Jonathan Wasserman put out a report today saying that the DeAndre Hunter is allegedly available for trade or that the Atlanta Hawks have explored the idea of trading DeAndre Hunter. And it would not be the first time. DeAndre Hunter is a very interesting guy because I've defended him for a while. I like the cap. I think he has the potential to be a good basketball player. But I do admit that it's mm, it's it's hard. So DeAndre Hunter, he's supposed to be this versatile do-everything guy. And his defensive rating for his career would tell otherwise. But he also has been on bad defensive teams. And I'm a big fan of DeAndre Hunter. Like I, I purely, truly believe that this guy has the capabilities of being this two-way player that we are hoping he would become. And this past year, he averaged a career high 15 and a half points a game with 4.2 rebounds and one and a half assists. We thought that the, by this point in his career, the assist totals would have go up, but they've stayed at around two a game. And the interesting part about DeAndre is in his second season, he really was putting it together and then he got hurt. And he's never touched that before a, so 18 games into his first year, when he, uh, second season, when he broke his wrist, this was a guy who was averaging 17 points a night, dishing out 2.2 steals, I mean, 2.2 assists, gra grabbing one steal a night, five and a half rebounds, while shooting 36.6% from three on five three-pointers a night and 51.4% from the field, 11.7. He's never really touched that again. And DeAndre is now on an extension, which I personally think the, the contract is very, very good. It's a four year, $90 million deal with an annual average of 22.5 million. He earns a base salary of 20 point, 20 million, basically it's 23, 24. So very tradable salary. What do you guys think? He's definitely interesting. I like the Andre Hunter. Well, what do you get for him? All right. What is he worth? I think that's what we need to figure out. $20 million. Where does that take you? Not very far in today's NBA, you'd think. You'd think it'd take you a bit farther, but if you look at the NBA... $20 million, unless they're trying to split that across. I mean, Lonzo Ball, Spencer Dinwiddie, Kelvin Johnson, Boyan Bogdanovich, Jared Allen, Joe Harris, Buddy Heald, M. Fournier, Bogdan Bogdanovich, OG Ananobi, Marcus Smart, Derek White, Gary Trent Jr., Duncan Robinson, Norman Powell, Tim Hardaway, Jonathan Isaac, Col Colin Sexton, Marcus Morris. Like, those... Do any of those names interest you? I don't know. Uh, they didn't really interest me. 